Here we are in the section review of chapter R, so section R review, um, numbers 33 through number 40, and we'll do the answers to those. It says a large rug has a width of six feet and a length of one foot less than twice the width. Ooh, that's a little tricky. What's the area of the rug? So we got a rectangle here, and area is going to be length times width. So we know what the width is, that's a six, and the, it says that the length is one foot less than that subtraction, but it's subtracted subtracted from twice the width. So subtract one from twice the width. And so if the width is six, we have one less than two sixes, 12 minus one is 11. So the length is 11. There we go. So the area is going to be 11, the length times width six, and that's 66. Is that 66? It looks like feet, feet. So this is feet squared. That's an area unit right there. Number 34, a fence has to go around the perimeter of a rectangular area. So we're going to be using this uh, 2L plus 2W. Um, rectangular area of my lawn that measures 20 feet, so there's the width, and 28 feet, there's the length. So you got two 28s plus two 20s, and that equals, what is that, 56 plus 40 is 96. So this is 96, perimeter is a length, so a feet, 96 feet of fencing. Now it says it costs $5.10 per foot. So we have to take $5.10 times the 96 feet to go all the way around. Um, let me see, 5.10 times 96, and that gives us uh, equals $489.60. Excellent, okay, number 35, the weather forecast in Brazil is 33 degrees Celsius. How warm is that in Fahrenheit? So Fahrenheit is, look it up on our formula in the section and we get nine over five C plus 32. All right, so let's stick it in. This 33 goes right in there to get our Fahrenheit and we get Fahrenheit equals nine fifths of 33 plus 32. Order of operations, make sure you times these two together. Nine divided by five times 33 plus 32 on the calculator gives us 91.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Excellent. All right, number 36. 2 pi r h, when r, so this 3 goes in for r, and the h goes in for, or 6 goes in for h, so we have 2 times pi times 3 times 6. Punch that in the calculator, 2 times pi times 3 times 6, and that is 113.1, well, 0 0.097, if we round there, it's 0.1, and it doesn't give us any units, meters or feet or surface area or anything like that, so just evaluate that expression, 113.1. Okay, number 37, we get A is 5, and so it's going to go in there, and B is 12, it's going to go in there, so we have the square root of 5 squared plus 12 squared, that's the square root of 25 plus 144 is the square root of 169. Plug that in the calculator and we get 13 exactly. All right, so 38B, Bethany, we're going to translate the following into math. Bethany will be, so there's your equal sign, 12 years older, that's a plus sign then twice two times Richard's age. So we would write as Beth equals, Bethany equals 12 plus two R. And that's multiplication. Good. Um, now number 39, 
there are twice as many students as tutors. So the students are more than the tutors. So let's write this out. If we wrote it, this is one of those tough ones. So the students number is twice the tutors. There we go. So that's how we can see it. Students are twice the tutors. So yeah, when you read something that says twice as many or three times as many or four times as many, they, we've got more students than we do um, tutors. So the number of students is twice as many as the number of tutors. So that's actually kind of hard. This is a switch around and we have to pay attention to that. All right, uh, number 40, a price, here's P, price, decreased by, that subtraction, 19%, that's 0.19 of times the price, P, is equal to 250. Price decreased by 19% of the price equals 250. Okay, good. That should do it.